In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you six amazing apps you should start using today inside of Canva because these apps would help your design stand out. Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, then you're welcome to the right place because this channel is all about Canva. Basically, anything you're looking for about Canva, you'll find the tutorial right here. So let's get started. Let's check the first app. The first app is called Transform Image. This app is very interesting because it helps you change the perspectives of your image to give your design an interesting look. So let's have a look at it. All right. So here we are in Canva. The first thing we have to do is to search for apps. In apps, you make sure you're coming here and search for Transform okay, Image. All right. And once you do that, you should, you know, find transform image. This is what we have at the moment. Once you click on it, it should load beautifully and you will be asked to choose your file. OK, so we just have to click on it and I'll go into my downloads to find any image. Let me use this emoji for an example. And this is how it's basically going to look like. OK, what you can do is you can zoom in and zoom out. But the interesting part of this app is that once you click and you move your mouse you can see you just have to click and drag and you can see how it's looking so you can easily change the perspectives of your image using this app once you are satisfied with what you want you can just click on add to design and it should load for some time and add your image to the design and you can see what we have at the moment i actually use this app to design this particular thumbnail you can see on your screen i was actually looking for ways not knowing this app was available right inside of canva and it helped me achieve what i was looking for the second app i want to talk about is choppy crop okay and there's also a very interesting app that can help you crop your images in a stylish way because it gives you a new way to crop your images you understand originally we have the background remover that removes everything in the background but choppy crops gives you that flexibility to crop your image in a certain style so let's take a look at how to use it okay, back into canva let's come into apps okay i always get to <laughs> all right so once you are here you can easily just type chop P, okay crop so crop yes and this is what we have at the moment all right so we can see it, it's over here now the way choppy crop works is that you need to have an image in your canvas all right so before we can first start using this let's go into element to find an image okay so come into element or just go into your element choose any image at all i'll use this as an example then i come back to my app choose choppy crop and we can see what we have at the moment so we can see the image has been you know it's popping up over here okay to start using choppy crop what you need to do is to start clicking around okay so you can see what we are currently doing at the moment okay so just be clicking around and it's very nice you know very very interesting no app usually gets to give you this opportunity but choppy crop does okay so you also need to make sure you are clicking on the last dot whichever dot you started with make sure you are clicking on that as the last one so that the crop is complete okay so once you do that you see it's popping up over here okay and after here you can't really do much but to edit your your crops okay or the points that is making your crop interesting okay so let's see we are done all we can do now is to click on add to design okay let me move this here so you can see when it's added so you can see the same image but has been cropped in an interesting style this design or this type of crops can fit for any design that gets to target maybe a paper like feel or vibe okay so in this case the background can be changed the color of the background can be changed to white and you know just to give the paper vibe if you're looking for that kind of vibe okay so that's what you need to keep in mind so before we move to the third up i want to just let you know that just in case you're on the free version of canva and looking to try out canva pro for free i have a special link in the description box below plus i have over 100 templates available for you 
you for free the link can also be found in the description box below let's look at the third app the third app is video mockups this is an interesting thing available in canva because usually when it comes to mockup we all know of the picture type of mockup you know you get an you know a photoshop something and um you know after you create your mockup it's an image basically now in canva you can actually create a video mockup and this is so interesting let me show you where to find it okay so what we are simply going to do is to come back over here okay and let me just get rid of all these all right recently i designed something i designed something nice in canva in my upload i created an interface um an etsy interface so we'll use that for this purpose okay so let me see if i can find it over here okay so this is an etsy interface i designed in canva i actually screenshot certain parts and had to combine everything did the design exported it as png and we uploaded it into canva okay so we are going to be using this for our video mockup so let's first of all come here into apps so once you're in apps just search for mockups okay mockup and you should find this mockup in here the interesting thing about this mockup is that now we have the video mockup over here okay if you come to see your there are so many examples in here but this is a laptop or a computer interface so i'm going to be using this laptop one okay as an example so it's added i can just click and drag my image into the mockup okay and everything should load beautifully for us the other thing i would want to do is to increase the size so we can all see it once it's done okay so yeah all right so we can see everything is loaded beautifully i can just click on play so you see how the whole thing works very 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 nice okay so with your image you also have the opportunity to choose how you want it to look so if you want it to fit you can you know choose fit and click on apply changes okay and if you want it to fill the entire screen you can actually also do that depending on what you are looking for all right so you can see how it's looking if you want it to fit okay but i don't think this is the best option for this particular one i think the fail works better the fourth app is called tracer and this app is so powerful because it helps you to convert your pngs and your jpegs into scalable vector graphics also known as svgs and once you're able to do this you can now manipulate the colors of your images to any color you want okay even for logos just in case you are struggling with changing the colors of your logo or your designer isn't minding you anymore this app can you know be of help so let's check how to use it so we have this app right here in canva okay there's a logo from a wise platform which is um, a payment platform i actually use so let's come here and search for tracer okay tracer i can click on it and it should load beautifully for us okay so we can see trace selected image i can just select it and it would simply load very very fast okay once it's done you can see that there's nothing showing over here because we would have to increase the threshold which is how we want colors to be affected on your design all right and once you increase the threshold you can see everything becomes black but we don't want everything to become you know black or we don't want everything to be affected okay so you can see that as we manipulated it a part of the image is showing okay which is we just want to be able to manipulate this part of the entire image okay so once i click on add to design you can see it's been added okay but the interesting part of it is with this same image we now have the opportunity to change the color okay so we can change the color to any color at all we want and see how beautiful this is an svg now in canva and we can basically do anything at all with this this would work perfectly for website because svgs are the best format for website so you can see how we've easily converted this to that okay very interesting what you need to keep in mind is that you always need to ensure that you are using the right amount of threshold so that it selects the parts of the image you want to manipulate in terms of colors okay so always have that in mind and let's move on to the fit app the fit app in canva you should start using is called type lettering okay type lettering is very interesting because this gives you the opportunity to apply so many text effects to your titles or any text you're working on inside of canva so let's try it out okay so here in canva back here again and we have type lettering okay this is it just select it and it should pop up okay so choose it and everything should be looking very cool 
over here all right so you can see we have some options in here choose any of the options let's go with uh this one okay let's go with this one now it's saying oh my days and i would say it's saying oh my days but i don't want to go sue sue okay how is it is this s i g u yes so <laughs> let's go with this one okay and we can easily choose the font we want to use okay so i can just go and choose maybe the alpha slab one but if it's a full sentence that's when you even see this showing more okay then with the colors we can also manipulate the colors okay so the black the background can take any color at all and the text can also take any color okay so maybe i'll just keep it something like this okay which works once you're done manipulating everything simply click on add to design and you can see it's been added all right so this is it very very interesting what even makes what makes this extra interesting is even after you've added it i click away if i come back to click on this you can see we can still manipulate our colors and everything so i can just manipulate this i can just say okay i want to see um african geek okay so african geek all right and you know let's come here let's adjust the colors so green and um, we can also do the so green we can also change the text color maybe to a lighter green something like this and click on update okay and you can see everything has been updated i can make it big and it's looking very cute over here so this is one of the interesting apps i have personally been using in canva and it's so amazing the kind of vibe it adds to your design let's look at the setup you should be using inside of canva the setup is called pixify is it pixify yeah pixify okay so <laughs> let's take a look at that one as well okay so let me just come back in here okay and i'm just going to delete this for now it's not deleting uh, what's happening okay let me just okay yeah um pixel five okay pixel five this particular app helped me to create this thumbnails you can see on your screen you know i was looking for ways to blur things out and i didn't want to use the ordinary blur so this app helped me to create what you see all right and i'm going to show you so let's click on choose image and let me choose let's say you know this particular one okay so you can see how we've been, you know we've pixelated everything so the number of pixels you want will determine how you want things to look so if you reduce the pixels it looks and that's when it looks pixelated okay then you can simply add to your design so if it was a thumbnail and you didn't want people to really see what you've created you know you can use this to pixify oh yeah pixify the image okay so i want us to work with another image so i'll click on choose file and i'll come here paste okay so that i can choose this particular file it would upload and i want to create a gaming vibe okay you know sometimes you see these gamers with interesting profile photos and you can actually use this to create it okay so yeah i think this looks good at to design especially for the gamers you understand i think i like it i like it and before you realize it would start being my profile photos and everything okay so with all of these apps i've showed you today which of these apps is your favorite i'd love to hear from you in the comment section below and if you actually love this app i suggest you watch this video because it's going to teach you how to add depth in your canva design so i would actually see you there take care benjamin no limit to creativity peace